Hi guys, it's Aaron Nintendo and today I'm coming here to tell you about the difference between a sponsor and a host. A sponsor is that person who is giving you... First of all, this is all about DV Lottery. Don't get me wrong, about any other visa uh, things are way different from a uh, DV Lottery. So if perhaps you're having interviews for DV Lottery and they asked you as in one of the requirements that you have to bring sponsor documents meaning you have to bring sponsor document that means you have to have a sponsor so a sponsor uh, is that person who is willing to give you documents documents like uh, identification for the USA and state or passport uh, W2 form avidaft of support nationalization document if if he doesn't have a ID or passport he can give you nationalization uh, document uh, maybe uh, other, if he's not a permanent resident neither he's a is a, a USA national or citizen he can give you other documents it's allowed he can give you his uh things like nationalization document he can give you other like work permit uh work authorization whatever so uh who is a sponsor how different is a sponsor from uh a host uh a sponsor is that person who is agreeing to sponsor you for example he's giving you such documents i've already told you and he is willing to sponsor you first of all he in in the avidaft of support as one of the required documents from your sponsor he is agreeing to sponsor you and there will be details like what is he gonna offer you when you So guys, the difference between a, a, a host and a sponsor is a sponsor is the person who is agreeing to support you and is putting you on his what? Papers. That is the best way to bring it out. He's putting you on his papers. And in particular, I'm talking about DV lottery, green card visa called DV lottery so a sponsor is the one agreeing to help you or sponsor you the embassy will determine you as an individual who is participating in DV lottery a selectee that you're going to america there is someone who is agreeing to sponsor you and help you you will not become a burden to the government you will if you they need anything they will contact this person because on your documents there is this sponsor to you so this person will provide a list of documents and one of uh, some of them are his national id if he doesn't have a national id he will he will give uh okay let me say uh, uh driver's license if he doesn't have that he will give green card if 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 he doesn't offer that he will give you he will give passport nationalization paper documents then uh beside the identification he will give his address he will give his address then the bigger part of the document is the avidaft of support the avidaft of support has information like about uh where your sponsor uh, works about his social security about all those sensitive information which he or she has in the passport uh in in the passport on the w2 form all the sensitive information that's how big a sponsor is to you he's giving out all his information to the american embassy where you'll be interviewed for dv lottery green card visa so 
other another document is the w2 form in the w2 form uh this is a document which your sponsor will give you showing the embassy or the wherever you will be interviewed interviewed showing the consular that he's capable of making big money because sponsors not every everyone can be a sponsor particularly to for someone to sponsor you he has to be in a certain he has to be a good earner like 50,000 40,000 and above to a certain extent they will allow even 30,000 but he has to be earning because someone to sponsor he has to be able to take care of you so they will ask a w2 form to show his tax returns and how he has been paying the taxes and make sure after actually they also want to see if this person has been, been paying the taxes because you cannot get a w2 form without you paying the taxes and those are some of the information they are looking at so beside that if i may take you back to the avidaft of support avidaft of support is is a document which has information like this sponsor is agreeing to sponsor you information like his has details of his family dependents and also your family dependent and you yourself the person you're coming with and you yourself your only information are in the avidaft of support and he's signing that is gonna be sponsoring you there is particularly there will be amount he might offer you any any anything like car he's gonna give you to you and the place where you're gonna be staying and from what period of time he's expecting to receive you so those are kind of the information which the sponsor is gonna be putting in that depth of support so a sponsor is very important to you as an individual so uh, when it comes to the differences between a host and a sponsor a host is anybody uh, who 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 where who has a place an address where you're gonna be staying so a host can be a sponsor but a host cannot uh, a, the person hosting you in order to become a sponsor he has to offer those kind of documents as i told you if he's not offering those documents i've just told you he cannot sponsor you so a host is just anyone who is agreeing for you to sleep in his home when you come to usa but he's not giving you any paper or he's not giving you any document which you're gonna be sending to the embassy he just has your you just have his information as in when they ask who's your host but if they ask who's your host and is your sponsor you'll mention the person who's gonna sponsor you Sometimes your host can be a sponsor. Sometimes he might, they might be different. So when they ask for information, you might tell the consular that this is my host and this is my sponsor. So where are you going to stay? I'm going to start my host place. Who is your sponsor? That's somebody else. So guys, I'm stopping here. Uh, somebody asked, what about a sp sponsor documents and sponsor? What is the difference between sponsor documents and sponsor? Sponsored documents, they are, they are documents given by sponsor, the person agreeing to sponsor you. And the sponsor is that person's information you're using. So guys, thank you for watching. I love you. And I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.